This session is designed to review various features and functions found within X3's quality control. Basic features revolving around quality control in X3 include technical sheet or question along with functional movements for where quality assurance testing can occur. Quality assurance testing can occur at three points, either during the receipt of raw materials from suppliers, production receipts of finished products, as well as in-process work order associated testing. Let's take a closer look at the questions behind the technical sheets in quality assurance. Questions themselves in X3 are user definable. On the left side of the screen, we can see various examples of tests associated with food products. E. coli, salmonella testing, moisture percentages, etc. If we look a closer look at the E. coli testing on the right hand side of the screen or in the middle of the screen, we can now see that the response type is alphanumeric and it's associated with a value list. Looking deeper, the response table associated with the value list as shown here reflects that the user will be responding to a specific code that is controlled for a desired result or a test result that is now recorded against that specific lot and product. Closing out of here, taking us back and looking at other ones like, for example, percent moisture, we can see that this is a range type of test and the range test has a start of two and an end of six. Anything outside of two and six will make it so that it's a non-standard response. And in essence, it could have a blocking status associated with it where additional testing sheets or new records could be established for further testing. Quality control questions are then transferred into specific technical sheets. Let's take a deeper look at technical sheets in X3. Technical sheets are in essence a place where several different questions can be listed, if you will, in association with a specific titled testing environment. In this example, we can see that technical sheet five is for an intermediate certification. The intermediate certification contains four tests, moisture content, E. coli, salmonella, and a dry grind association with that given lot. Each one of these text descriptions is then linked to an associated question from the QC test library. Technical sheets are then applied to the various testing point within the system. Let's close out of here and take a further look at where these various technical sheets are linked. The first place that we can look is in the product site record. The product site record will have an area underneath the management tab where you can see the quality assurance master information. In this example, we can see that quality record five for intermediate certification is set up from a QC management perspective and it is listed as changeable control, but it could be non-changeable control, periodic control, or no control at all where no testing is required. Upon further review, we can find that specific raw materials that are provided by specific suppliers may also have a quality assurance requirement. And in this example, we can see that quality record two for food raw material processing is associated with this specific product. In addition to that, we can also see that from a QC management perspective, it's listed as a non-changeable control so this testing is required upon receipt of any of the products that are delivered from this supplier. Once various different process steps or procedural steps are followed, either the receipt of raw materials, the completion and certification of a product from manufacturing, or in-process testing associated with routings 
and work orders, they all tend to flow directly into the QC workbench. The QC workbench itself is designed to capture the listing of things to do, if you will, that could be associated with each quality analysis request that in this case are linked to the receipt of raw materials, certification of finished goods, as well as in-process testing for an intermediate. As we begin to explore the receipt of the raw material, analysis request 172 from a given receiver shares with us that at the line, there's one QC record that is linked with one lot. There could be multiple lots associated with any receipt or transaction. When we look a little bit deeper, the quality record for the receipt is measuring two specific tests. One is a material certification that would have accompanied the product upon receipt, and the other one is measuring the moisture content at the time that the product was being received during delivery. Similar testing can be found underneath intermediate products, where in essence, from a testing perspective for this specific lot on this specific record, yields that there are additional tests that are required so that we can further certify the lot, including moisture content, E. coli, salmonella, and other dry ground types of testing. Each of these are recorded against the specific lot number for the product and stored for future reporting in X3. This concludes quality control features found in X3.